Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I'm here in the Maldives. I got in here the other day on a flight and now I am on the biggest island here called Male. It has 100,000 people actually. And in all of Maldives you have 1,200 islands. They are located just below India, in the Indian Ocean. I will be taking the bus here to the other side. There are two islands here on the main island called Male and also a highway that connects the two islands. There's a bus stop right here and I will be heading over there now and then checking out the south part of the island also. I was about 500 kilometers or 300 miles off of the southern coast of India on the two main islands of the Maldives, Hulumale and Male. So I'm also gonna go swimming here a bit later, see if we can find some reefs outside. But first we have to take the bus into the main buildings that you could see in the drone shot way over there across the bridge. I met Mabu here, he's from the Maldives. Hi he's, from the Maldives. He's lived here his whole life, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Born and raised. Yeah. You like to travel also. Yeah. And he helped me with my drone because <laughs> I had a bit problem to start it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here in uh, yeah. like, say, how do you call it? Some kind of restrictions are here. Let's see if we can find the bus here now. Um, to the other side of the island, see what we can, if we can explore the Maldives a bit and meet some more people, see what this place is all about. Here is one of the main roads. Here is the bus stop, and um, it seems like it's really civilized here, like uh, really modern, a bunch of uh, modern cars, and also even a bus. When I was in San Sibar recently. I couldn't even find a grocery store, but here I've already seen some grocery stores, so that's nice. here that goes to Mali, yeah, to yeah. the other side. Yeah, go to that bus stop. I don't, I don't but I need to buy some car or something. Yeah. So I couldn't get on the bus because uh, you need to have some kind of card and I couldn't pay with cash. He told me there's a yellow shop somewhere where I need to buy this bus card. <gasps> the card for the bus. Yeah. You go now? Okay, thank you. They are here for shop. Shop, here, thank you. Uh, it's a bit more complicated to take the bus than what I first thought. Uh, apparently, uh, there are only a few shop, shops that sell these bus cars that you need, and you need to top it up with money to be able to take the bus. So that's where I, what I'm doing now. I've asked, I think, four people now, and nobody knows where to buy this bus card. Uh, they pointed in a few different directions and said over there somewhere, and then maybe over here now. Uh, the last instructions I got was that I should be able to buy a bus card right here in this little uh, section right here. But I, uh, oh, I can buy a ticket here. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. I want to go to Male. Male. Yeah. Uh, it's ten rupees each person. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. I come back today. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Here we have a. Uh, grocery store also incredible you can buy so much stuff here I'm not used to this since I was in Zanzibar I found nothing there here you have so much food oh snacks I'm gonna buy some snacks for later maybe <laughs> you know uh, it's possible to go to Male from here yeah, exactly. Male in this bus yeah. hello is this going to Male yeah Male okay 
I'd finally found the bus that would take me across the bridge from Hulumale and in to the island of Male. It only cost me 60 cents. So we have two stories here. The airport covers about 50% of Hulumale, but in Male you only have buildings on the whole island. I passed by some really developed neighborhoods and also the inside of the bus was really modern. Soon we would also pass the bridge leading over to the island of Male. I came across the bridge and I started seeing the tall buildings sticking up on this small little round island. <laughs> Oh, I got off the bus somewhere. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's see what we're gonna do now. Go and explore a bit. There's a beach over here, so I'm gonna try to go over to the beach also. So when you're thinking of the Maldives, this is probably not what you're thinking of. Some of the islands have a lot of people and a lot of buildings, but some also are really, really nice. So I will be finding that out in the coming videos. I will be going to the some of the really nice islands also. This is one of the most densely populated cities in the world with about 80,000 people per square kilometer. The buildings are really packed together and also not much open area. I was trying to fly my drone, but this drone that I have now is so horrible, so I could almost not fly anywhere. I got these error messages the whole time. I don't know why, but I have to find something to eat now, see if we can find some uh, local food. That is my next mission. Here we have a really nice lagoon. So I sat down here at a restaurant to have some food. Uh, it's called lemongrass and it's right here by the water. Really nice. I asked if they had some typical uh, Maldives food and uh, he said uh, not so much. So we will see what we're gonna get here. This is Rosero and he will explain here what type of food we have. It's typical for the Maldives. So what is this here we have? Yeah, Pomelo, we have a bajia for the evening. Yeah. And uh, gula. 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 And uh, we have masroshi. Masroshi. Okay. Uh, there's two. Two cutlets over there. One is this cutlet. Uh -huh. One is cutlet. Uh -huh. What is in this here? We have uh, tuna and uh, fish. Uh, tuna and fish. Ah, and okay. Least, uh, tuna and fish. Ah, it's tuna. Different. Okay. Uh, and this is and the we last. We have onibokia with uh, fish and everything on there. Ah, okay. This is uh, some spicy. Ah, spicy. spicy. Okay. okay. Very nice. Okay, perfect. Yeah, very good. And here we have a bunch of uh, dessert. Yeah. We have cake and cake and everything. Ah. Okay. Uh, this is kiribukiba. Kiribukiba. These are sweet. Sweet. Okay. Uh, ah. And patties. And cake. Cake. Okay. Normal tea cake. Ah. This also a taste and fish bun. So he was just explaining a bit here about the food and the snacks that they will be having for the buffet later tonight. Seems to be a lot of fish mixed with some egg. Here comes my drink also. <laughs> it would be nice actually to jump from here. That would be perfect. It's a perfect place to jump from. But I think I would may probably get in some deep trouble if I, <laughs> if I did that. So I got my hamburger here. I would have ordered something else, something more like uh, typical Maldives food. But uh, they didn't have much besides from the buffet here. <laughs> Good. 
this was a really incredible uh, restaurant really nice view and also classy and still I paid only about nine dollars for a uh, meal and a drink I think here in the Maldives it seems like you can eat for like four or five six dollars or so I was satisfied after my lunch and I would keep walking across the whole island. I have a pretty good understanding of what the Maldives is like now since I've been here for a bit of time. And uh, it's in my opinion really nice. It's not very expensive at all. And the good thing is that no matter where you're staying you're always close to the beach because the islands are quite small. I'm actually really excited to be heading out to the islands outside of here of Male. There are a couple of different ferry terminals here, one on each island, or I think actually the other one that is connected uh, with the highway or the bridge has two, and here there's also maybe two. I'm on my way into the packed area here and the reason why the Maldives is one of the most densely populated countries in the world is because of the small area. As you can see it doesn't look all that crazy here but the whole country itself is such a small total land area so that's why it's one of the most densely populated countries in the world. For example Tokyo, I was in Tokyo a couple of years ago and that obviously is way more crazy than this. But the land area of Japan is way bigger, so that's why. In Japan, when I was there also, that was really packed everywhere, there were so many people. <laughs> So it's not all that crazy here. I would think that there would be way more people. Uh, but not too bad. A lot of motorcycles or motorbikes. One thing I've noticed is that a lot of people are really short here. I didn't think about that, but some people are like down to my, uh, down to like here. <laughs> and but I'm I don't know if I'm tall, 180 centimeters, six feet. I think I am a decent size. <laughs> Here we have a little fruit market. So much nice fruit here. So colorful. Wa wa wee wa. So fresh. Everything is like aligned clearly. No flies or nothing like you sometimes can see in fruit markets. Sweden. Sweden. Where do you come from? My Where do you come from? My from Bangladesh. Where? My from Bangladesh. Maldives. Bangladesh. Ba Bangladesh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. You're Bangladesh? Yeah, I know Bangladesh. Yeah. Idea? I've never been, no. No idea. No, I've never been. Yeah, maybe sometime I go to Bangladesh. I really have to find a bus stop now. It's getting a bit later in the afternoon, so probably people are going back from work. More and more scooters have started to come out here now, really packed. So I walked almost completely across the island here now, the south island of uh, Male. And uh, it only took uh, 20 minutes. So the whole island is not that big. Um, I have some bad news. I dropped the bus ticket that I bought earlier. I bought two. One for the way home. But I had it in the same pocket as my phone. And uh, probably at some point when I took my phone out of my pocket, the bus ticket fell out. <laughs> so now we have to find another bus ticket in one of these stores. That was quite challenging uh, at the beginning of this day. I had to talk to a lot of different people. Hello, can I buy a bus ticket here? Bus, bus ticket. Where can I buy a bus ticket? Bus ticket. Bus ticket. Bus ticket. Ticket for the bus. Bus ticket. Here. Uh -huh. Okay. Bus ticket, I can buy that. Yeah. Okay, thank you. What's your name? 
My name is Mahmoud. Mahmoud? Yeah. Thank you for giving me a ride. Yeah. So we're going to the somewhere you said. So where I can buy a bus? We are going to Burumale Ferichan. Ah, okay. okay. Okay, thank you. So you I'm from Sweden. Sweden? Yeah. Sweden. Where do you come from? I am from Maldives. From Maldives? Oh, yeah. okay. I'm living in this town, this capital city. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Yeah. It's you nice, I like Maldives? Is it the first time? Yeah, my first time. I've never been to the Maldives before. Oh. It's really nice, I like it. It's family or without family? Huh? Sorry? You without family, you, you alone here? Yeah, I'm alone, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. For you, my friend. No, I don't want anything. Ah. I don't want anything. Where's the ticket? Ah, yeah, I have ticket. You sure you don't want that? Yep, yep. Okay. I don't mind, I can give you. You sure you don't want money? Yeah, I don't want money. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. Yeah, You're a good man. Oh, so this is the right bus here, and the guy was so nice. I wanted to give him some money because he was so nice, but he said, No, 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 it's okay, I don't need money. Actually, really friendly people. He was from Maldives. I have to get on the bus. Thank you. I got some help from a friendly local guy and he had taken me to the right bus stop. Now I was on my way back across the bridge and into the island of Hulumale where I had come from this morning. Oh, I came out of the bus. It was so cold in there. Now oh, we have some heat again. Fry, boiling. If you want to get some cash from the ATM here you need to use the Bank of Maldives and not Happy Bank. I used Happy Bank ATM the other day and they took my car and I had to wait two hours to get it back. The ATM swallowed it like a whale shark. Ooh, I came back to the hotel. Now we're gonna go for a little evening swim. It's just around the corner here from the hotel and I will be jumping in and cooling off. I squam out for a bit, trying to see if I can find something. I swam out quite far, but it was so shallow and it didn't seem to get any deeper. And I was also a bit afraid of getting hit by a jet ski, so I soon turned around to head back and go to bed. The temperature in the water is so hot. It's like a hot tub almost. Must be like over 90, <laughs> probably 30 something Celsius. It's like a hot tub. No cooling off here. The snorkeling was not the greatest, so I'm on my way back. But I wanted to say also that like um, here we have some apartments right on the beach. You can see right there and. Um, you can live here for not so much per month, right here on the beach. I was seeing some uh, deals on Airbnb. Thanks for watching this video. In the next video I will be heading out on an adventure to one of the really nice paradise islands. Hopefully, if everything goes according to the plans. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, so as always, if you like the video, thumbs up, leave it a thumbs up, post a comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, then please subscribe to the channel so we can reach 100,000 subscribers. It's been going too slow. We need to speed up the process so we can get to 100,000. 
So thanks again for watching and see you next time. See you next time. See you next time. See you next time. See you next time.